At Planet Labs, we've always had the goal of empowering humanity with imagery of the planet taken on a more frequent basis. We're doing that by launching the largest fleet of satellites ever in human history to take regular images of the planet. We've always believed in getting the data out to everyone. The things you'll see in industry right now is you have a lot of really high resolution imagery, but very infrequently. And what we're focusing on is getting that very frequent time snap so you can see before and after snapshots of just about anything, whether that's reservoirs changing levels, disaster response before and after images, agriculture changing over time. So what makes our data unique is that we're taking photos of the planet every single day. So what this does is that it creates a new data set that's high frequency and it's a real-time fire hose that we're opening up to our community of developers and users to build this ecosystem. Planet Platform is really our attempt to reimagine access to satellite imagery for the modern web. So we kind of started with that premise of how do we make that available? Well, how do we leverage the cloud to do huge image processing to get it in people's hands? Whether that's looking at it from the point of view of a deforestation researcher and really digging into that problem versus someone wanting to count chips and ports. All these things are possible with this data and what we're really trying to do is enable those people to get the information out of the data that they need. We're releasing the full historical archive for the past two years of California data and every new data set that we get in at a slight delay. And all of that data is going to be available under a Creative Commons license. Um, so this lets anyone use it, do whatever they want with it. It's a very trusted open license that, that we really believe in. We're starting in California, first off, because it's our backyard. In addition, California is facing some unique challenges right now around drought and climate change. And we think that this data set is particularly applicable to help understanding and potentially solving some of those issues. On top of that, we're here in this great community of developers and really eager to get those folks on board on our platform so we can really work back and forth with them to improve our product, to iterate on the platform, and make sure that we're doing everything we can to get this data out to more users. The, the data that will be available will be in a couple different forms. So developers will have access to web tiles to be able to pull it directly into their applications. And then they will also be able to download data in a couple formats. So they can get a visual product as a GeoTIFF to use it directly in an application or a, an analytic product to run kind of deep analysis and processing on it. And California is really just the first region that we're opening as part of our much broader initiative that we call Open Regions, where we're going to open data from a number of different regions in the world. If everyone has access to this data, we think it will improve our odds of helping us take care of the planet. We realize we're creating a new, unique data set that's incredibly powerful, but its true potential can only be unlocked in the hands of many rather than a few.